Nick Kardashian and Yon's Benjamin, here's how they met. Even though it's not the most public or most dramatic relationship in the Kardashian clan, Nick and Yon's Benjamin are an intriguing couple. For a celebrity couple of a reality star milf and a model, they have an astonishingly chill relationship. But what's most interesting of all is how they met, as Kni Kardashian reveals in the video below. This is kind of bonkers, and it involves Kim Kardashian getting robbed. Scott Disick has spent a considerable portion of this year making decisions that are questionable at best. If you're Emily in air and you want to drink and have sex with models, that would normally be fine. It's less fine when you're a public personality and also a father. And, quite frankly, it's totally not cool that Scott's various exploits were embarrassing to Kni. Furthermore, even if Scott's three children were successfully sheltered from their dad's summer of bad behavior, Scott Disick ended up in the hospital and, quite frankly, things could have been a lot worse. What if he died? As a father, he has to care about that. Now, Scott complains that banging teens wasn't fulfilling, and says that he had way more reason to be jealous or whatever of Kni, who developed a meaningful relationship with Yun's Benjamin. But how, exactly, did things begin for Kni and Yun's? It all starts with Klo, who asks the, probably planned, question of Kni. You met him in Paris when you were with Kim for Fashion Week? It's a leading question and it's a prompt, as a lot of Kardashian conversations begin on keeping up with the Kardashians. It makes their discussion sound more natural and it's part of their recipe for success. Ni replies. Yeah, we like walked into a bar and Stephanie, Shepard, was across from me and she kept going, this guy's cute over here. Steph Shepard, of course, is Kni's super good friend and also Kim Kardashian's assistant who maybe hates her job. Yunce is a model, so Steph's assessment of his cuteness was correct. He was friends with our friends. He would walk in, say hi, shake hands with like our security or whatever, but like not say hi to us. Lots of beautiful women feel relieved when a guy is ignoring them, but clearly Yun's not noticing them got under Kni's skin. Kni continues, and then I was like, why do you hate us? I was just drunk. Yeah, alcohol and the accompanying lowered inhibitions can really help people speak their minds. For better or for worse. Once I said that he literally like grabbed my hand and was like, it's 5 in the morning. We're leaving. Is Kni saying that they hooked up right then? It's not entirely clear. A lot of great relationships start with a hookup, folks. And clearly, it turned into something really quickly. And the next night Yunz was like, bring your ass here. It sounds like Kni likes to be bossed around a little, right? 
Are we the only ones getting that vibe? But there was a huge family crisis, when Kim was robbed in her hotel at gunpoint while millions of dollars of her jewellery were stolen, causing her to fear for her life. And then when we walked into that club was when we went to the bathroom and got the phone call about Kim. So then the party was over. We would imagine so, yeah. The only thing worse than getting a call like that from your sister would be actually experiencing the living nightmare that Kim endured. A crisis so early into a relationship that it can barely be called that can be a huge test for a blossoming couple. A test that Jan's Benjamin passed with flying colours. And then he was like, I'm not leaving you guys. And he like had to translate everything. It's easy for us to think of Yunz as Kni's boy toy. He's much younger and much less famous. But having a younger model who's there to look pretty and make him feel good Scott's thing. Ni clearly likes a little depth to her relationships. And, again, it sounds like she doesn't mind a little assertiveness at all. Ni and Yunz bonded in a crisis, it sounds like. That's always going to be with them. Watch the video below to see what we mean. You met him in Paris when you were with Kim for Fashion Week? Yeah, we like walked into a bar and Stephanie, Shepard, was across from me and she kept going, this guy's cute over here. He was friends with our friends. He would walk in, say hi, shake hands with like our security or whatever, but like not say hi to us. And then I was like, why do you hate us? I was just drunk. Once I said that he literally like grabbed my hand and was like, it's 5 in the morning. We're leaving. And the next night Yunz was like, bring your ass here. And then when we walked into that club was when we went to the bathroom and got the phone call about Kim. So then the party was over. And then he was like, I'm not leaving you guys, and he like had to translate everything. <laughs>